all by herself at night across the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It's crazy, scary. 101-year-old Jerry Neal narrates his initial flight piloting a B-24 at just 21 years old, joining the fight in Europe with the 8th Air Force. Neal faced immediate action. Death and danger were all around, even at 5,000 feet in the air. The Germans were firing from the ground. The 10-man crew faced unimaginable conditions. The airplanes were open. They weren't pressurized. It was minus 70 out. It was minus 70 inside. It was common for crew members to succumb to frostbite and lack of oxygen. Died basically in my arms. Mission stretched from dawn till dusk. No food. No bathroom. But no battle compares to the 2 a.m. wake-up call by Neil's commanding officer on June 6, 1944. I'm calling him the old man. <laughs> Full bird colonel. At 25. At 25. For the first time in history, the invasion of Normandy revealed. They pulled back the curtains over this huge map of Europe, and there it was. He still didn't comprehend the significance until he approached the English Channel. And I could see five, seven, nine thousand boats. I'm flying formation, so I'm going to look at like this and like this. You know, I can't just sit there and stare at it, you know, <laughs> or I'll run into my plane. So, yeah. <laughs> but, but just think about that. you got a grandstand seat for the invasion, the biggest invasion ever in the history of man. Neil circled his plane for hours, visibility too low to take shots, heading back to refuel as four 4,000 horsepower engines roar the unimaginable. All these engines, four engines stop. Tuck, tuck, tuck. It's dead silence. The B-24, out of gas, begins to fall from the sky. The crew bails. Neil, his co-pilot and navigator remain on board. I looked back over my shoulder to see if the crew had gotten out, and I still got my bombs, so I'm sitting there. <laughs> Diving 400 miles per hour, the bombs plop into the ocean, feet from the moment Neil thought he'd die. As I pulled out right in front of me was this big rock bar. I thought, God put that right there. What's left of the plane skids to a stop. So we kicked the windshield out, got out on the wing, and just... <clears throat> Several crew members were not as lucky. And all of a sudden, I see this guy rolling out in a boat. He comes out and picks us up, three of us up. Neil went on to fly a variety of planes serving 17 years, ending his career as an esteemed instructor pilot. But in this chapter of life, he's more focused on sharing something else. To me, being able to speak to young people, think about why you're here, what your purpose in life is. He wants them to understand. I don't think we have respect like we had. We've got to get that back. Otherwise, this country's not going to make it. If I can get that, I think I've accomplished something. Alex Dennis, News 2.